Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbees is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough, and who wouldn't want to go to Honeyjukes? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his- Oh, uh, you there! Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. A uh, one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Incendio! Revelio! This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. out today. Uh, this is the first time in a while I haven't had to have my fan on. Really should have my AC in, but actually no. Down here. Oh. Uh, lag is a little A lift? Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Well, thankfully... Repair! Seems to have done the trick. Rebellion. This castle will never cease to surprise me.
Rebellion. supposed to get out of here. I'm going to have to get past this. One more to go and I'll make it across. Getting in the way of that platform. Repair. Let me answer. Let me answer. That did the trick. This must be the way out. Hmm, I need to find a way to open that gate. Repair. 
Incendio! Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Revelio. Was I supposed to be in there, or was I... Crap. I feel like I'm gonna get into real trouble one of these days helping the, the, either the Slytherin or the, the Sky. I feel like I'm gonna get in pretty big trouble at some point. I feel like I should keep helping them. But I'm too nice to say no friends always tell me that. Michael, you're too nice. You gotta say no. <sighs> Got my trusty water bottle. Yeah, so usually as I'm recording these, I'm uploading the previous episode. So maybe that's the reason for the lag. But I, I can't see it that being the only reason. I lowered the graphic settings of everything by a lot. The ultra to high. I wonder if it has something to do with recording. These are pretty big files. I wonder if it would be better for me to record this on uh, OBS instead. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out.
Ravenia. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried bilirubin stings. You got them. Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found, and it's missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book, and that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Rebellion. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could but simply then... go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon? Roast beef? Rotten roast beef? That is correct! Rotten roast beef! If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ah, well, I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Revelio. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say, tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Revelio. A student Never will on the kitchen. Why well, they eat what? delicious food and what? Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly, you know makes rookies job easier. Mmm, <laughs> smells glorious in here. Mmm, here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. <laughs> Rebellion. There's a disgusting smell. Oh, I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about, simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. 
It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Revelio. It's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. You're back! No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Yeah, we're back in the, um... What, 17 or 1800s? Back when ships were still a big thing. Came from one place to another. There was a pirate ship named the Jackdaw. It's one of the most fearsome ships. Quite an interesting story. I think I have something about it on my channel, actually. Uh, actually, yes. The last playthrough I did, Assassin's Creed Rogue. You can go ahead and watch that right after this episode. Feel free to take a watch. Have a listen. Learn some history. Everything else is a mystery. But now, we're back with the Headless Hunt. We're going to do whatever that is. We're going to have fun doing it, I do say. I dare to say to myself. Are ready? Alright. Hopefully we're ready. Maybe. Definitely maybe. I'm running out of things to talk about. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta! Look who's here! What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Ah, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. But don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Er, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jest. <sighs> It's bound to be around here somewhere, probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. It's the least I can do for you for 
bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. If the headsman could only see me now. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Rebellion. Next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins. <laughs> Lumos. Potato. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. 
It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Time to start with already! Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. <laughs> well, we're not through with you! A mortal would be so good at this. We've almost got him. Is it over yet? Are we still going? I could do that too if I had a wand. He had a body. Well done! Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge.
Pavelia. It's a lot easier than trying to get all the way over to it. I wish there wasn't so much lag, and I wish there wasn't so much, so many loading scenes. <laughs> Well, go, didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've seen you, Jewel. Your strategies won't work on me. You're the one who released Treadwell, aren't you? That was a mistake, my friend. Incendio! Rebellion. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath.
The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Far from home. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But <laughs> Those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. In we go. Yeah, because I mean, the matriarch was kind of. It kind of made sense to be, um. to be over leveled. But I'm like right on par. I want to be a few levels above, you know, above everything. So I really should think about leveling up a little bit more. All right, keeping one force, one control, one damage spell raise in this combat. There'll be other times to be able to do that. I don't know if they'll use dueling commissions. I wonder how big this place is. must have something to do with opening this door. Let me open it. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. This 
someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Ravenia. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. somehow.
touched a chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? hidden somewhere. I thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Good thing Jack Dor didn't fall down here. An untouched chest. Jack Dor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but... Chapter wasn't very thorough in his search of this game. Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him.
Not a headless skeleton in sight, but in. Is the bridge? It's almost complete. More spiders. He's probably at the head of the trajectory. multiplied since Dracula came this way. Must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages.
before I do this, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next one, we will be back to do it and do it well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.